Hey everyone, here are 10 old movies you definitely should watch. Number 10, Casino. Gangsters, Casinos, and directed by Martin Scorsese. What could go wrong? This film was an amazing film. It's a film that is very, very graphic and very violent, and the story of it is just top notch. It is intense, it is dramatic, and it is well directed. This film was a fantastic film, and it explores things of greed, power, betrayal, and crime overall. And it was done so so brilliantly and it also delivered powerful performances from actors like robert de niro joe pesci and other actors this film was a fantastic film you have to watch casino if you're a fan of gangsters and crime overall you are going to love this film number nine there will be blood often known as the greatest actor in his generation daniel de lewis plays the role of daniel plainview a ruthless oil prospector as he goes on the journey to become the greatest oil man in his time and does anything and does everything to get to this position. This man's performance in this film was electrical. It was so magnetic to watch. Even though his character was a character that you might not necessarily like, that you might feel somewhere about, he plays it so well. And the fact that the character is a morally ambiguous character just adds to the overall charm and fascination of the character. And Daniel Day Lewis brings this character to life magnificently. The story is a very compelling story. The cinematography draws you in and makes you feel like you're part of this world. And it captures the essence of that world so brilliantly. And the action just elevates all these elements to a greater level. You have to watch There Will Be Blood. You will love it. Number 8. Saving Private Ryan. Before I watched this film, I had a conception about war films. I used to think that they were all just violence and war and action all true but this film proved me wrong this film although there were some bombastic action sequences in them some very very graphic and realistic portrayal of war there were still some moments of quietude that just elevated the drama and the character so much the characters are morally complex characters that had so much depth to the story and the performances from all the actors helmed by tom hanks just elevated the story to a much greater level this film was an amazing film from start to finish. If you like war films, you have to watch this one. It will blow your mind. And I'm sure you probably have not seen a war film that is as gritty and as realistic as this one is. Number seven, The Godfather. This one is a succession story. And I remember when I saw this film the first time, spoilers, but I was like, The Godfather is dead. What is now the story about The Godfather? Until I watched it again, I realized, oh, this is a succession story about the new Godfather. And yo, when I realized it, it just elevated this film in my mind to a much greater level. This film offers rich storytelling of family, loyalty, power, and betrayal within the context of organized crime. This film was a fantastic film and it features gangsters. I mean, come on, I don't know about you, but me, I love gangster movies and seeing that in this film just elevated this film to a much different level. And it's not just gangsters for gangsters sake. They tell a very, very compelling story. Like I said earlier, I just worked so well with the context of the story. This film was a fantastic film from start to finish. Number six, 12 Angry Men. Of all the films on this list, this one is the oldest. This one was released in 1957 and it is shot in black and white. But this film is not the least by any means. I remember when I watched this film for the first time, it blew my freaking mind. It was an amazing film. It follows the story of 12 jurors that are supposed to decide whether a young boy that supposedly killed his father is guilty of the crime. And this film was a fantastic film. Like, I have never seen anything like it in my life before. And the fact that this film was all shot in one location as to the intensity of it. And this film is a very, very intense film. It's so dramatic. And the performances from the actors just elevated to a much different level. The direction by Sidney Lumet just adds so much more to it and makes this film such a very, very intense film to watch. The storytelling was fantastic. The actors and the performances were great. And everything that came together to work with this film worked brilliantly. Even though it's an old film, it's still relatable to today. And I'm sure if you watch it, you will love this film. Number five, Reservoir Dogs. This one is a film by Quentin Tarantino, and it was his first film ever. It follows the story of some criminals that go perform an ice, and this ice go wrong. I will see the aftermath of the ice and what the characters are thinking. Man, this film was incredible. The dialogue in it was fantastic. I mean, it's a Quentin Tarantino film. You come to expect this things from his film. And for the fact that this was his first film, I was able to deliver fantastic, sharp dialogue. Wow, it was so impressive. The music also adds so much to the sequences. I mean, you know now, you know these things from Tarantino films and he delivers. And the characters, the characters are very, very distinct, interesting characters. All of them add something to add to the story that made the story feel like a very great story. And like I said about the dialogue, the dialogue also adds to the characters, adds to their development and adds so much depth to the characters. Man, this film was a fantastic film. I'm not just saying it because I'm a Constantino fan, but if you watch it and you see it, you would also agree with me. Number four, Forrest Gump. This one follows the story of a simple-minded man that experiences some of the greatest things that have ever happened in America. 
yo, this film was a fantastically emotional film. Like, you watch this film and just pulls on your ass strings. The things that this man goes through just, wow, was just so much and so incredible. For someone as simple-minded as this to have an extraordinary story was something that was just mind-blowing. And the performance from Tom Hanks just elevates his character to a much greater and iconic level. And speaking of Tom Hanks' performance, it was a very, very heartwarming performance. So sincere and deeply human. Ah! This film was a fantastic film. It had memorable characters and some very, very quotable lines and memorable scenes. If you've not seen Forrest Gump, just drop everything you're doing now and go and watch it. I am 1000% sure you are going to love it. Number three, Shawshank Redemption. Of all the films on this list, I think this one is the most popular one amongst Nigerians because I've seen a lot of Nigerians that have watched this film and loved it. And for good reason, it follows the story of a man that is wrongfully imprisoned and his journey throughout to stay in prison. This film was a deeply moving film. The characters in this film are very, very interesting characters. And the performances from the actors added so much depth and nuance to the characters. And it made them so, so relatable. Man, this film did so many things right. The direction of it was fantastic. The song choices, the use of music, yo, it elevated some scenes. And everything just came together brilliantly. This film explores themes of hope, friendship, redemption, and the resilience of the human spirit. This film was a fantastic film, and if you've not watched it and you watch it, I am sure, 1000% sure, that you are going to love it and enjoy it. Number two, Goodfellas. I like to call this film the gangster film every gangster film wants to be like. It's a film directed by Martin Scorsese and it follows the story of real life gangsters. This film was a fantastic film. The way it tells the story of gangsterism was done in a very, very seductive way. At the same time, you just want to stay away from it because of how it is portrayed. The performances from the actors elevates this film and adds so much depth to the character. The storytelling of this film is very dynamic and very gritty. And there is so much violence in this film that you're like, wow, this film is so violent. But it's not violence for the sake of it. It's violence that adds so much context to the story of it. And this film has great dialogue and memorable scenes that stick with you long after you've seen this movie. It has been a while since I saw this movie. But man, there are still some scenes in this film that are etched in my mind that I can't take out. And it just adds so much. To this film and this film was a fantastic film if you've not seen any gangster film or you like gangster films check this one out my guy it will blow your mind number one pulp fiction this film is a film by quentin Tarantino, and it's my favorite movie of all time i love this film so much and it could be the only film on number one this film is a fantastic film it has different stories and tells those stories in a very innovative way in a non-linear way that just keeps you hooked and interested in what is going on when i first started this film it might be a bit confusing like okay what am i saying how did this come about like the storytelling might be a bit confusing but just stick with it you would love it and the way it's told just adds so much to the storytelling the characters are very very interesting distinct characters i mean you're watching a tarantino film all these things are expected great characters fantastic dialogue incredible use of music and this film has all that and just so much more. This film was a fantastic film. I'm not just saying it because I'm a Tarantino fan. I'm saying it because it is the real fact. And if you watch this film, even though it's not your cup of tea, you will surely, surely agree that this film is a fantastic film. So those are 10 old movies you should watch. What other old movies do you think should have been on this list? Comment below and let me know. If you watch this video up until now, like, share, and follow me for more contents like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers.